I can't believe I'm feeling so frightened doing my live videos. Why do I feel so frightened? No, seriously, Tony Ann. Like, really? Like, I can't believe I really... No, I feel like I'm frightened for any people. No, sir. I want go on with me today. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Anywho, people, my beautiful Jamaican people, my people that I love so much. Sometimes, I don't, I don't like how we go on, though, you know. Honestly. I don't like how we are going, people. Let me tell you something, people. Honestly, God has been good. I'm, I've not been frightened, you know, like internally, like psychologically, mentally over the COVID-19 since it, since its inception. God has been good. I'm going to try a whole heap of challenges. God knows I can't put it on my head. Honestly, you know, and um, I just ask him to keep me, protect me. But you know what? There are... There are chapters and there are scriptures in the Bible that speaks about obedience to God. And in and uh, if we're going to narrow it down, obedience to the laws of the land. Once it's something that is legal and morally upright, you know. And I guess morality, I guess for everybody differs. But I say that to say this. If you read Romans chapter 13 and I think chapter 14 as well, it speaks about because I, I suffer from asthma, I don't know. I mean, I really like when nothing black block up my face. I, I, I don't like the masks. I honestly don't like wearing them. I really and truly don't. But guess what happened? They require, the laws of the land require that I wear them. That I wear them, people. And I can follow it and I follow it. I don't like it. I'm, I'm coming to you as, a, as real as I can come to you. I don't like it. I wish we never had to wear it, honestly. But they say that we should wear it, people, please. And they say that you shouldn't have any gatherings of more than such and such an amount. I think it's more than 10 or more than, you know, I know for weddings, they say they give you 25. But churches, no more than 10 persons should be in the building. I guess if you're in, a, you're in any building, no more than 10. No funeral, no burials and no funerals can go on now. And it, and it also goes for parties, people. The numbers are going up. Whether or not you believe in a pandemic, whether you not you believe whether or not you believe in the coronavirus, I, I can't tell you what to believe. You believe what you choose to believe. However, the laws of the land has indicated that there is a virus, and that it is spread by you know whether in, when you're close in proximity physically, and when you don't wear your mask, spread even more. That's what they're saying. So they're encouraging us and they're asking us to wear our masks, please. One of the things I realize, you know, in our country is that we, we struggle with obedience. We struggle with listening. We struggle with discipline and we struggle with listening to authorities. We struggle even with listening to each other. If somebody comes and they says to us, you know, um, don't litter the place. We litter. It's as though we're hearing litter the place. If they say don't uh defame the walls don't spray paint the walls we do it. it there is a there is a spirit of defiance on the land for many years now so us seeing this play out is not even unusual it, the only reason why i'm really doing this video now is because you know you're hearing the numbers going up and there are no loss of lives there are no num the numbers are going up in terms of the loss of lives and the pain and the agony that some persons face because it's not everyone is asymptomatic some persons are not asymptomatic so some go through the pain one man said it was like although this was in the u.s he said it was like glass on his chest one said it was like cement i think one here so people please you know um god loves and respects obedience and he blesses us that way he says it's better to obey than to sacrifice now prime minister whether you like him whether you don't like him that is neither here nor there he says let us wear our masks Nobody's saying that you're going to have it on right through 24 hours, 48, 14. Like, and no, there's no point that you breathe from it. But you're in a public space, you put on your masks. You know, if there are moments that you become a little bit like you're hyperventilating and like you're losing it, just, all right, go somewhere by yourself. Take off the mask, take a breather and relax and you wheel and you come again. But in, for, the, for the most part, wear your masks. Put on your mask, people, please. I beg you, my loving Jamaican people. My loving, you know. But may I beg you, know, wear no mask. Please, 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 please. I'm begging you like it depends on the life of a child who is suffering from stage 4 cancer. You know, and they're saying, help me. 
and I'm saying to you, my people, my beautiful, wonderful, lovely Jamaican people, because I'm not going to call anything but blessings upon you. You know, but listen to the laws. Listen to the laws of the, the. Let me say it this way: Listen to the leaders of our land. Follow the laws of the land, and wear the masks. You know, or put on a shield. You know, and and just especially if you're in public places. If they said do this, just obey. Just obey. Sometimes I, I said to myself, I feel like God allows this thing to go on. You know, because He wants to see if it is that we are a people who will listen. I'm not saying that's a reason behind it. I I'm just you know um surmising the entire situation and saying that could be one possibility because people you know so we're defiant but do we defiant we defiant we defiant we defiant you know may, may i say it gently because it's it's sad sometimes me probably all guilty because as i say it's not something that i like i, I honestly don't like wearing the mask when i can tell you i hate it but guess what the leaders of the land said that we should wear it so i'm you know i i i am required to obey them it's right. It is a right thing to do. Irrespective whether or not you believe if a virus is here or not. Even if it is not here. Wear the masks. If you're on your job and you, they may say to do something that you don't agree with. But it's nothing that is illegal or immoral. But since they ask you to do it, do it. It's the same thing. Please people, I'm tired of, of us as a Jamaican people not we're being so defiant. We're so defiant. We don't take talk. We don't even take, as a man say, constructive. He doesn't call it constructive criticism. It was a book I read in, by Napoleon Hill. And we don't take constructive, what is it? It's not concerns, like comments, something like that. He didn't want to use the word criticize because since we use it in a negative sense. And it's the truth. You know, it's as though we just operate as though we are our own leader. We're our own bosses. We're governed by no one. And that's not the reality of the world of life. There is a God who sits and he looks low. And when he sees a, a country of people who are defiant and disobedient, it's not good. It doesn't profit us people. It doesn't profit us. So, so whether or not you believe it, whether the virus is here, let us see, whether it's a facade, whether it's a myth, whether it's not, just, let us just work with the program. They, the leaders of the land, said there is a virus here. It has been here for over a year and they require that we wear the masks. They require that we do the social distancing. They require certain things. Just follow them, please, as best as you can. I know it is not easy. I know it's not easy cooping up in your house and having nowhere to go. You have to go in before 8 o'clock. I know it is difficult. Believe you me, I understand. Sometimes I won't go somewhere so till. I mean, I like they just work home, work home. You know, or, you know, when I could have gone to church, somebody, hey, you know, I'm a free spirited person, but I'm required to. You know, it speaks to one's character. Let us be obedient to the laws of the land. Please, people, may I ask you, please? I know I'm, I'm a nobody to many of you. That's fine. That's fine. But I'm hoping that my words will reach to, to, um, to many. Big and my big and my lovely people. My love and my love and my love and And we are wonderful people. Let us show the world that we're not a defiant set of people. Please, that we don't have to be governed by a beating stick over our heads. That we don't have to be governed by a backmaster type of leadership. You know, a Hitler type of leadership. We don't have to be governed that way. Please, that's how we wear the mask. I do it. May I try myself? May I talk to you? May I talk to myself? You know, come in and like the mask. May not tell you no lie. Me don't like it. Me don't like it. Me don't like it. But guess what happened? May I have to respect the leaders of the land. May I have to do that. May I want blessings follow me. May I have to listen. As long as I'm not telling me to do anything that is illegal, unjust, immoral, then we can listen. It's good. We have to listen sometimes, people. We have to take, talk sometimes, my Jamaican people. Remember, Jamaica, I, I live. If other countries want to disobey, that is them. But we could deal with us. We love, we love to compare with other countries. No, let us deal with us. When you're in your household and you deal with your children, don't compare them with anybody else. Deal with them. Deal with them. All right, bye, people. Love and all. Just listen. All right. Have a blessed day. And stay sweet. Have a good day.